Ancient history, global history, U.S. history, Middle East history, 20th century history, senior project, international relations and economics. Outside the classroom, I have served as model United Nations advisor, baseball coach, Duco advisor, speech contest judge, talent show judge, prom chaperone, senior seminar speaker, senior project panel, talks and panelists. I have gone on trips with you with Week Without Walls from the Arava to Mount Hermon, and model UN trips to Washington, Boston, Paris, Chennai, Lisbon, Prague, and Doha. I have gotten to know you, and uh, until recently I thought I'd heard it all from you guys. I've heard things like, in this very auditorium, denying that you knew that there was a rule against drinks. Then, 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 quick. Oh, I wasn't going to drink it. Then, then, then. No, it's not a drink, it's water. <laughs> Almost every Monday, I go through that. <laughs> I've heard you ask for extensions for assignments that were due. Fine. But some of you wait until weeks after it's due to ask for the extension. <laughs> I have received emails from you telling me that you don't have internet access. <laughs> I had one student, when he was caught copying and pasting from Wikipedia, and I said, why didn't you cite it? He said, because you told us we couldn't use Wikipedia. <laughs> I had a student on Week Without Walls argue vehemently for well over an hour that he should be permitted to use his portable barbecue to grill pork chops because we never told him he couldn't. Um, I've had baseball, player, baseball players tell me they had to leave practice because traffic was getting bad. I have made, been made to feel guilty by I don't know how many of you for not buying a cupcake to support the Buy Another Cupcake Club or whatever it is. I'm not sure. I, I, those of you who work the bake sales know that I just give you money and keep walking. I think it makes everybody happy. I know you don't believe me, but I'm not eating the cupcakes. Um, look, year after year, we've gone through the same excuses why illegally downloading music is really not a crime. Let's see if you recognize the font. A, everybody does it. B, it's too expensive to buy. I know, the 99 cent ones, it really puts a dent to me. Right? <laughs> The artists and the record companies don't really need the money. It's not really taking away anything from anyone else. They should give it away. Why don't they? And it doesn't hurt anyone. We've had that conversation every single year. Don't worry, it's not that long. Um, I had a student claim that they should still stand for a student council election even though they skipped the speech. And of course, I've heard, we ordered a beer just because we're so happy we won the best delegation award. By the way, I have no idea who the judges were today. That was not the <laughs> So I thought I had heard it all, but then, you know, as you guys know, I'm leaving at the end of the year, and, you know, the other day Mr. Jackover said, it's time to sit down and really kind of wrap things up. We got to go through your file. Pete, I know you've got a lot of feedback and this and that, but, you know, it's time that you got the full picture. So he shared with me some emails that, Frankly, I've never seen or heard before, so we're not going to go through all of them, but here's some highlights. So, so from students in my history class, here we go. Mr. Sickle is funny in class, especially when he wants us to believe he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Mr. Sickle has really helped me with my classroom skills. Never before have I been so successful at pretending to take notes on my laptop. Mr. Spickle spends lots of time and effort explaining things to us. It's just a pity no one can understand what he's talking about. <laughs> Mr. Sickle's tests are super hard and totally unfair. Instead of telling us the answers ahead of time, he expects us to come up with our own ideas about what we've read and discussed. <laughs> Actually, I have heard that one before. Uh, here is from a student in senior project. Mr. Sickle is so annoying. Every class he asks the same questions. How's the research go? Any questions about the homework assignment? Did you follow up with the interview with one of the world's leading experts on your topic that I set you up with? 
I mean, really, he needs to learn thing, how to mix things up a bit. Here's what some model UN participants have said. Uh, Mr. Sickle seems to be very busy with behind the scenes preparations for model UN trips and time in conferences, but after going on two trips and participating in three conflicts, I have a question about the meaning of behind the scenes. In English, can this also mean avoid responsibility? <laughs> it's just a joke. <clears throat> At least it's meant to be. Um, well, let's get the next one. Trust me, there's enough. Uh, here's what some baseball players have, have written the, in the couple of years that I, could, I used to coach. Um, at practice the other day, we were practicing hitting the cutoff man. No matter what we did, Mr. Sickle told us we weren't doing it right. By the end of the practice, it finally dawned on us. There is no such thing as a cutoff man. It was all one of his ego trips to make us feel bad. <laughs> uh, Coach Sickle tells us stories about playing baseball in college. He tells us he was the captain of his team. That must be one hell of a college. He can't even throw batting practice. <laughs> I, oh, here's one. ISST was so exciting. The games went by so quickly. Especially since the umpires kept telling us the game was over after the third inning. They called it the mercy rule. I think they should call it the never get bored rule. Uh, here's what one of the Stuco officers wrote. Mr. Sickle has con con consistently challenged us to strive to meet professional and ethical standards of responsible governance. Drawing on his graduate school training at Kennedy School at Harvard, his experience as a policy advisor in Bosnia, the U.S. Senate, and the State Department, he has emphasized the value of transparency and the critical need for consistent and effective communication between Stuco students and school administrators to maximize our effectiveness and efficiency. No one told him we're doing this just to get into college. <laughs> Here's what some of my colleagues have told uh, Mr. Jack over throughout the years. Pete is a valued colleague who helps students focus and give the extra effort. For example, from September through February, he makes sure that a large chunk of the high school is completely unavailable on Wednesday afternoons to participate in sports, drama clubs, or anything else. In faculty meetings and other discussions, Pete always makes up for his lack of experience in educational training by being the loudest voice in the conversation. Spending time in these discussions with Pete really made me appreciate my other colleagues. <laughs> Pete is a real practical joker, always helping to lighten the mood around the office. For example, he still tells people he has a desk and that he works at it. If you've seen my desk, you get it. Here's what a couple of your parents have said, and we'll wrap up. Um, I enjoyed having the chance to meet with that. Uh, you know what, never mind. That's not that funny. Me stopping it was funny, and then going on. Okay, my, ch my child learned a lot this year as a student in Mr. Sickle's class. Perhaps most valuable of all the lessons he took away from his time was the clear conviction that he would never be a high school history teacher. According to my child, there's a lot of laughter in the classroom with Mr. Sickle. According to my child, though, only Mr. Sickle is laughing at his jokes, the rest of us are laughing at him. Ah, so, as I leave AIS after five years, I know in my heart of hearts I've obviously left uh, a lasting impact here. Okay. Not every time 100% has been the impact I've hoped for, and I know that there are those of you out there that I wish I'd been more clear, more patient, more generous, more punctual, more accessible, more organized, more blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but I hope we can at least agree that it's never been boring, and that is something. <laughs> Some of you out there are gonna miss me, Good. Yeah. <laughs>